Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O oh God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, and by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading for, Sunday, for Easter Sunday is found in the 10th chapter of Acts. A reading from Acts. Peter began to speak to the people. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. The message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witness to all that he had done, that all he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testified about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We will now read responsively Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel now declare, God's mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has found me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. 
The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord indeed punished me sorely, but did not hand me over to death. This is the gate of the Lord. Here is the righteousness may enter. I give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. The stone of the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. By the Lord has it is in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The second reading is found in the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. A reading from 1 Corinthians. If for this life only we have hoped in God, we are of all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For, all, for as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ, but each in his own order. Christ the first fruits, then as is coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end. When he hands over all the kingdom of God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power, for he must reign until he has put all of his enemies under his feet, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 24th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, the women came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. And the women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them, who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Greetings everybody today. 
If you are new to St. Andrews, a special welcome to you. Please know that the meal at the table is open to all. No exception. You are most welcome. Indeed, we celebrate Christ is risen. There is nothing better. I often, when I sit down for this particular sermon, now those that know me probably find this hard to believe, but I find I'm at a lack of what the heck should I say. And, and maybe I should just say Christ is risen and sit down. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, say a word. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I opened that door right up. <laughs> but you but you know. <laughs> and I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> but you know I'm going to start with something here, right? This quote. Our faith should enable us to see God as one in whom we can trust even in the middle of our ultimate fear. If we can laugh in the face of that fear, that's one way of saying that God is in charge. That comes from Tom Mullen. Laugh in the face of fear. <laughs> There's a lot of fears we're dealing with these days, aren't there? Oh my gracious. Dare I say COVID, right? I hear one more and read one more article about another variant. You know, don't these variants start to sound like R2-D2's names now? Yeah. But at any rate, and oh my gracious, do we know what Putin's going to do next? These are scary things, right? That's a world we live in. We also live in a world with our own personal kinds of things. Hey, perhaps a family member who's struggling perhaps an illness, perhaps, well, perhaps a lot of things. This is, this is the life in which we live. And, and if we focus on those things, it feels a lot more like Good Friday, doesn't it? It doesn't feel very Easterish. But we're here to say, we're here to celebrate, not the bunny, right? But, but we're here to celebrate the fact that the cross is empty, that the tomb is empty, and we get to laugh in the face of death. Right? Death didn't win. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Death didn't win. The powers of, of what scare us, the powers of what is around us, don't win. We're here on this Easter day to laugh in Putin's face to laugh at the face of COVID, to laugh at the face of all of it, because Jesus won. And we are here to grab a hold of that promise beyond all things. Beyond all things. 
I'm not saying we don't live in a life where we've got to deal with stuff. I get it. Stuff isn't fun sometimes. And that's the world in which when we walk out of here, it's like, yeah, but pastor, you know, tomorrow I got to go to work with that same boss. Right? I, I know. And, and I'll turn the news on tomorrow and... I know. Because what Easter isn't is magical. Because if Easter were magical, it would lose its power. We are here this day to know that even despite the fact that we've got to live with stuff, that there's something better than that. Catherine Hall writes, You've got to believe in happiness or it never comes. Oh, that's a reason a bird can sing on her darkest day. She believes in spring. We remember that the earliest of Christians weren't in the easiest of times. They were occupied by Rome. They had to keep their mouths shut and listen to what Rome had to say. And the Christians were even hated pretty much by the, by the Jews. They had to hide. This was the time in which they were celebrating Jesus was alive. But see, the thing is, when they hit that tomb, then they knew it was true. Right? What did the angel say to the women? By the way, it was the women who went, not the men. Just saying. <laughs> All right, I'll let that squirrel over there. <laughs> what did they say to the women? Remember what Jesus said. And on the third day, I will rise. Today is our confirmation of that. Today is the day we know what Jesus said comes true. Today is the day we know we get eternal life. Today we are reminded of that. And so we can shout, Christ is risen, because today is the day we celebrate that so we can live it. So when we go into the world and have to deal with the stuff, we know that's not everything. But we do know that's everything. And that's because of today. And so we get to shout, Christ is risen, alleluia. Because our lives are changed. And we get to laugh at the face of everything that does not embrace a risen Christ. So together we say, join me in the loudest voice you got. 
Any, any youth in, 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 yeah, yeah, scream, you are allowed to scream, I'm saying so, right? Everybody says together, Christ is risen, hallelujah, and amen to that. confess our faith by using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day of resurrection joy, let us offer our prayers for ourselves, our neighbors, and our world. Renewing God, the good news of your resurrection changed the world. Give church leaders and all the baptized the same excitement as the woman at the tomb and inspire us to share your abundant life. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Sustaining God, your creation abounds with signs of new life in budding trees and newborn creatures. Provide fertile soil, ample sunlight, and nourishing rain for the growth of plants, and provide farmers with a plentiful harvest. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Sheltering God, strengthen and sustain all who support vulnerable people across the world. Empower government agencies and international organizations that provide for refugees and migrants forced to leave their homelands. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Encouraging God, you do a new thing among us. We pray for those gripped by fear or, and anxiety or who suffer in any way, especially Mikey, Jack, John, Melba, Lexi, Carolyn, Sean, Michael, the Belli family, the Siniscali family, Warren, Barbara, Elizabeth, Brian, and Eric, Elizabeth, Ibby, Shirley, Diane, Linda, Ruth, Jackie, Hattie, Doris, Gretchen, Charles, Chris, and those we now name aloud or silently in our hearts. Send us as your healing presence to places of hunger, pain, illness, or overwhelming sorrow. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Surprising God, you offer endless ways for us to delight in your grace. Give this community of faith a sense of joy and wonder in exploring new avenues of faith formation, worship, and discipleship. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Resurrecting God, you make us alive in Christ. Thank you for blessing us with faithful witnesses who now rest in you especially those we now name silently in our hearts. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Mighty God, protect and bless all civil servants, local government officials, and members of the armed forces who work for our safety and security, especially Courtney, Matthew, and Levi, Kyle, Todd, Anthony, Vince, Elizabeth, Derek, Christina, Rhiannon, Dennis, Mark, and Joseph. Help us to be thoughtful citizens and good neighbors in our communities. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We pray for Luther Crest of Allentown and the Reverend Ginny Heimer. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Healing God, direct us as we find our way through COVID-19. Remind us that the vaccine is a gift from you. Help us to be loving and accepting of all as we seek a graceful way through the pandemic. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Peaceful God, we pray for an end to the conflict in Ukraine. Help those in charge value human life and find peaceful ways in solving their conflicts. Protect and comfort those who are suffering because of this war. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We offer to you these petitions and those we carry in our hearts, trusting in your abundant and ever-present mercy. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Amen. 
please share a sign of God's peace one with another. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. 
Day by day you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Christ, give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death, and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter, and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn.
God, most mighty, O God, most merciful, O God, our rock and our salvation, hear us as we praise, call us to your table, grant us your life. When the earth was a formless void, you formed order and beauty. When Sarah and Abraham were barren, you sent them a child. When the Israelites were enslaved, you led them to freedom. Ruth faced starvation, David fought Goliath, and the psalmist cried out for healing. And full of compassion, you granted the people your life. You entered our sorrows in Jesus, our brother. He was born among the poor. He lived under oppression. He wept over the city. With infinite love, he granted the people your life. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his death, we cry out, Amen. 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 Celebrating his resurrection, we shout, Amen. Amen. Trusting his presence in every time and place, we plead, Amen. Amen. O God, you are breath. Send the Spirit on this meal. O God, you are bread. Feed us with yourself. O God, you are wine. Warm our hearts and make us one. O God, you are fire. Transform us with hope. O God, most majestic. O God, most motherly. O God, our strength and our song. You show us a vision of a tree of life with fruits for all and leaves that heal the nations. Grant us such life, the life of the Father to the Son, the life of the Spirit of our risen Savior, life in you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come to the banquet, for all is now ready. Please be seated.
for those in the pews, the body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. As you are comfortable and able, I invite you to stand. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the gifts of his body and blood strengthen, keep, and unite us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Life-giving God, in the mystery of Christ's resurrection, you send light to conquer darkness water to give new life, and the bread of life to nourish your people. Send us forth as witnesses to your son's resurrection, that we may show your glory to all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. And may the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Go in peace. Tell what God has done.